We Tuskegee men or what? Oh, fuck yeah. We're getting some of the Tuskegee Airmen in here. Hi, guys. Pretty like a girl. And he got my stories to tell. I see both sides like Chanel. See on both sides like Chanel. When my life's Welcome back everybody, it is Dylan or Jigsaw, and we are here with another trailer reaction, this one being for Masters of the Air. Now this is something uh, I'm pretty hyped about, I don't know much about what is go what is, what's going to happen within the show, or the limited series itself. Um, I know what it's based on, it's based on the 100th Bombardment Unit, which is from the, the I think it was the, the United States Army during World War II, um, nicknamed the Bloody 100th for a pretty bad reason, a lot of people got fucked up. Um, they lost a lot of lives, so I, I'm very curious to see what this show is going to entail. If you know me, you know I love me some World War II. We watched the Band of Brothers on here. That was an amazing, amazing fucking show. Like, S-tier type of show. And then we have the Pacific. We haven't finished it yet. I know. Don't kill me. Going to finish it, I promise you. But those two World War II shows, I think, were a great insight into the actual hell that those men had to go through you know a lot of movies like i know saving private ryan is one that is known for being realistic or somewhat realistic having some pretty real real like feelings and reactions from the people within that film but i think band of brothers in the pacific showed the harsher reality of it saving private ryan was more of like a a clean cut with a little bit of of atrociousness in it and band of brothers in the pacific was atrocious with a little bit of clean cut nice stuff in it so i think that's i think that's where war movies and shows should go to is showing the harsh realities of the war rather than trying to make it some spectacle event i don't know if that even makes sense but i'm just one that i feel likes to see the harsher reality of life when it comes to those certain topics when it comes to war but i'm a realist i like to see shit as it happened how it actually happened i don't want some sugar coat to, to, to cover up the the brutality of war um i i like to see it for how it is and i know that sounds goofy because i know i i definitely haven't seen it for how it is from tvs movies reddit but you know what I mean. I think I'm making my point here. I'm just kind of rambling on at this at this point. Don't want to hold back any longer. Make sure, if you haven't already, go check out the reaction for the GTA 6 trailer down below. You guys have been absolutely killing that, and I cannot thank you guys enough. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into Masters of the Air. Let's see what we got here. We lead our boys through. So you are right, Girl worth riding to is hard to find. Not if you know where to look. I'll miss you every second. She looks really familiar too. I, she's in something I've seen. You are in charge of 35 planes and 350 air crewmen. Don't you die on me before I get over there. Something big is brewing. Executive producers from both Pacific shows. All right. Largest air armada ever assembled in the history of mankind. Straight into Hitler's territory. We need complete and total air superiority. That's the mission. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. The last pretty face I ever see. the men who fly through the great spaces of the sky are we tuskegee men or what sir, yes, sir. oh fuck yeah we're getting some of the tuskegee airmen in here storms or sunshine fair let's go we won't go without a fight oh yeah oh yeah 
I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Okay. Holy crap. <laughs> I have even higher expectations than I did before the trailer now. Oh, wow. Okay. So, for those of you that don't know, if you were in a bomber in World War II, well, I, it's better to say you probably didn't want to be in a bomber during World War II. Like, that shit was just a wa like a flying graveyard. It, it, it was atrocious, the amount of bombers that we lost during World War II. Like, it, it was... Ugh. This kind of gave me... Um, Similar vibes to Unbroken as like the cinema cinematography. Obviously, Unbroken is about a bombardier. We're not going to go there. That's not what I meant. That sounds ridiculous. But the cinematography, the color grading, um, and kind of the 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 take, the the way they're viewing this story gives me Unbroken vibes. Um, it seems like it's going to be very haha -ha grounded. This just seems like it's going to take it grab us by the neck and just throw us into the events that transpired here. And that's, that's, I think that's what I'm most excited about. They're talking about the Tuskegee Airmen, which if you don't know about the Tuskegee Airmen, do your fucking research legends of this country. When I tell you, I, I mean it absolute fucking legends. I don't remember how well the movie was received via the people but if you want to learn a little bit more about the tuskegee airmen obviously do your research go online uh but they do have a movie about it called red tails i remember it came out like 2011 maybe 12 something like that it was made by lucasfilm which was like the most wild thing to me i remember i saw them and i was like of all people making a world war ii film lucasfilm was the last person i ever expected but it was a pretty good movie i i, I, I highly recommend it I don't know, I can't remember off the top of my head how historically accurate the movie is in terms of some things, but it is about the t some of the Tuskegee Airmen. But they didn't, they did a good job not showing you too much. I think a lot of trailers nowadays basically give you the outline of the story and then just keep away the big exciting, oh my god, spots out of the, out of the trailer. Like it's not, nothing really excites me anymore. But this trailer gave you enough without giving away a goddamn thing, which is which is perfect for me. I, I like I like to go in blind to a lot of stuff, especially stuff like this, um, just to kind of get a good holy shit moment out of myself and to 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 fully take in what I'm watching. I, I try to avoid as much content as possible. Like Spider-Man 2 came out like three months ago. Still have no fucking clue what's going on. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Like I said, leave a like down below. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know your thoughts on Masters of the Air. I'm very, very excited for this series, and I hope you guys are too. It definitely is something I feel like we should check out on the channel, uh, but we'll see when we get there. Again, thank you guys so much for all the constant love and support, and I will see you guys in the next video. Adios.